Could you even imagine running through this desert right now? Like, all of the sand that would be going inside your mouth and your eyes and your nose. This would just be a terrible time, just like looking straight into the sandstorm. Uh, sorry, Link, this is probably not a good time for you, but that's okay. You're Link, you can do anything. Alright, welcome back to Zooter, guys. My name is Tyler, and in the last episode... Well, I don't really even want to talk about what happened last episode. You can just watch it for yourself. <laughs> in this episode, we are going to hopefully get something that allows us to progress somewhere. We are starting to run out of things, but it's okay. Because we're just going to keep on trying our hardest. I wish we could still chop off the knees of these women. Hey girl, you come here often? Damn, I am living for her golden eyeshadow. That looks awesome. I really love it when dark skinned people wear gold eyeliner or like lipstick and stuff. I think it looks so awesome. Like when Senna, I think that's his name in the Hunker Games, he wears gold eyeliner and it looks so dope. Okay, so the first thing in our agenda today is to do the horseback archery mini game. I'm also gonna take off these boots because they're too slippery. It's making me walk slower, I think. Well, I don't think there's actually a difference. Wait, where's my horse at? Let's play the hoe song. Come here, my girl. We need you. Oh, look at that lens flare. Oh, shoot. I forgot we can't do this without the bow. Ah. Okay. Looks like we're going to the Gerudo training grounds then. I guess it makes sense that you need the bow to play the archery game. The duh, the duh. This also, we also need the bow to do the big post side quests. I'm not just putting that off because I don't want to do it. I'm kind of putting it off because we don't have an actual choice. Okay, so I'm not sure how much we can accomplish while we're in here. But we'll get as much done as we possibly can. I know there's like 50 treasure chests in here, so hopefully we gain something good. And then I was going to finish the mask trading side quest, but then I totally forgot. No, we can't shoot these with anything but a bow and arrow or a slingshot. But yeah, I was gonna finish the mask side quest, but then I forgot that one of the gossip stones we talked to, we talked to like two gossip stones just to see what they would say. Remember they told us that the mask side quest would give us rupees. So that's not worth doing unless we need more rupees, which we don't. We have more than we'll ever need. This is just too easy with the big Goron sword. Too easy. Hey, oh, I just put that bomb right next to myself. Okay, good, good. Here's probably the first of many heartbreaks. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys. Oh, I think there is a God. <laughs> there is a God. <laughs> He's watching over me right now. I've always wanted to do this. Oh, that's never felt so good. Guys, this literally opens up like the rest of the game for us. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm not sure if I want to continue on with this temple right now because there's so many other things that we can do. I'll do a couple more things in this temple because, I mean, we're already here. Oh, guys. Oh, <laughs> I feel like the happiest boy in the world right now. Can we get? Can we be on a winning streak right now? Okay, it's just a key. I'm pretty sure there. Oh, that gave us two chests. Nice. I will take it. And we're just getting keys. It's all good. You know, let's let's keep on playing through this. Whenever I see these lion heads, I always think of Lionsgate, the movie company. Gerudo Training Grounds, brought to you by Lionsgate Studios. No, this is not sponsored. You know, I should actually try to get, like, a sponsor for this series. I don't know, there's lots of, like, things. So, like, one channel that I've always, like, one spot. What, what can I move? Is this quicksand? Do I need my hover boots on? I think maybe. Okay, of course he got out of his stun. But I've always wanted to get sponsored by, like, Nature Box or something. <laughs> I just have them like send me free snacks every month in return for me mentioning them like one of my videos. I'm sure if I sent them an email they would sponsor me. 
and I could get free yummy snacks. But I'm honestly just too lazy. It's my biggest problem in life, is just how lazy I am. Okay. This time limit is starting to make me scared. Hey, attack me! Stop just evading me this whole time! Stop! My timer's running out! Sir! Oh my gosh! Die! You fuck! Jeez! He was just trying to let that timer run out. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it in his face. He was just wanting me to die. Oh, look. My favorite item. <laughs> okay, let's take off these hover boots again. <laughs> They're so annoying. I still can't get over the fact that we got the bow. Man. I'm just I'm so happy, guys. I wish you could see my face. It just has like the biggest smile on it. Cause I was, I was literally, legitimately getting worried. I'm like, I'm doing this series right now that has a lot of viewers. Wait, can I not get up here with, without the long shot? Do we legitimately need the long shot to do this room? It looks like it. Okay. But yeah, I was getting legitimately scared. I'm like, there's so many people watching the series right now. The last thing I want is for this seed to end up being like the one possible dud where you can't progress. Because this was legitimately pretty much the last area. Like these last like five or six chests were getting in the Geruda training grounds. If we hadn't got something good at one of these chests, I'm not sure if we could have progressed without doing some sort of glitches in the game. So I think there's a chest after two doors, so I'm going to go for it real fast. I'm just going to try to get as much done in here as we possibly can. Yay, Deku Nuts! I think we already had full Deku Nuts to begin with. Oh, no, we didn't. So I will take it. Okay, I think we can still go the other way. I'm not sure why I started coming in this middle room yet. Well, I guess I just stated I came in here because I knew there was a chest. Gosh, Tyler, why are you so dumb? On my Twitch streams, I have a emote that people can post. It's the Toucan Dumb emote. It's what people post whenever I'm being really, really dumb during one of my streams. And that emote gets used quite a bit. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm not the smartest goldfish in the goldfish box. It's okay, though. You guys don't watch my videos because I'm smart. You watch it for my dumb babbling, I'm sure. I know to make this block appear, we have to play the Song of Time. The Garuda Training Grand is really just a... It's a really weird dungeon, honestly. It's not very traditional <laughs> with how they do things most of the time. Okay, now this room is way easier if we put on the hover boots. I keep on, like, switching between the hover boots in this episode. I'm like, I want them on, and I want them off. Boots on, boots off. Okay, first off, we're gonna go for this silver rupee over here before the fire comes back. Oh, hello. It's a random flaming skull jumping out of the fire. You know, it's things you see every day. Nothing out of the ordinary over here. And apparently the keys, like whenever the keys are set out as a separate item, they are mixed into the randomizer. There we go, piece of heart. Remember I mentioned in the bottom of the well, I was like, I don't know if this key inside this coffin will give me anything other than a key. And then lots of people said in the comments, they're like, no, not fam, you can get something other than a key, I have. Oh, you're all like, great story, bro. <laughs> there, like, is it, oh, another freeze chest. I think that's our third one. Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze in Six Flags St. Louis was the very first roller coaster I ever rid rode in my life. My dad forced me to ride it, even though I didn't want to, because I was a scared little small child. Oh no, all of these respawned. Of course they would. But then I rode it for my first time, and then roller coasters became one of my favorite things in the world. And then after riding a roller coaster, I decided I want to be a theme park architect when I grew up. And then I realized that that takes a lot of time in engineering school. So now I'm just using video games to supplement my lack of engineering skills. And I'm making <laughs> theme park series, like my Let's Build the Ultimate theme park. Which, quick plug on that. If you guys are interested in theme parks whatsoever, even if you're not, I would recommend you watch that series. It's probably my favorite series I've ever put on my YouTube channel. And it's also family friendly, so if anybody is looking for a family friendly series they want to watch whenever their parents are around or 
they have kids or something, that is the series for you. Like, it's still a good entertaining series, but I try to focus more so on, like, my theme park building. And it's really paying off. It's all turning out super cool. Wait, can I get up here? Can I at least hit the torch, please? Let me hook shot up here. Thank you. I was about to say, if I can't <laughs> get past this room either, I'm going to be pretty mad. Do we get a chest for this? We just open a door. <laughs> okay, fine. We'll go through the door. We have my Planet Coaster series. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't really have an end for it in sight yet. <laughs> like, I'm already at like 40. I'm over 40 episodes already. But my theme park is really coming together. I'm really, really proud of it. Like, honestly. <laughs> okay, this is probably my least favorite room in the Gerudo Training Grounds. It's because anything underwater in this game is just not the most fun. I mean, it's cool because. The fact that they included such cool water physics in such an early three-dimensional game is pretty neat. But it is just time-consuming. Like I said, these boot transitions. Let's play the 3DS version where we can equip the boots as an item. That's what I'm talking about. That's... Oh no, I hear the Klamos. No! And a spike trap. It got me. Okay, where are they? Dentist Link here. Dr. Link. Fam, open up your mouth. Say ah. Say ah. Uh. What? Say ah. Uh. I'm not opening up my mouth for you at all. You're not a clam, Josh, are you? I could be. I'm trying to imagine you as a clam right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I found some. Oh, it's like right underneath the surface. Where, where were they just underneath the surface? I'm around the stone pillar. That's what I fucking told you, you dumbass. I thought I you made a different stone pillar. Fucking told you, you fucking retard! <laughs> Holy shit! I even I... helped you and you couldn't- You were too dumb to figure it out. I thought you meant it Josh, stop yelling at me. No, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't like it when you get this way. Yay. For some reason, this room reminds me of the aquarium inside Mario 64's castle. Hey, you go inside that hole and you're just like in that aquarium. I don't know. I make lots of random like weird connections. Like lots of things in video games remind me of other things in video games. One thing in particular, one of my favorite games of 2017, top three games of 2017. If you haven't played this, you totally should. Um, it's called A Hat in Time. And it's like a new age 3D platformer game. The graphics are awesome. The story's awesome. The developer said that he was really influenced by Thousand Year Door, Paper Mario. That's his favorite game. He was really influenced by that. And Wind Waker and Mario 64. And it's all together just a fantastic game. And they just put out a image recently saying that they're going to be announcing new DLC for it soon, which I'm super hyped for. Well, they just said special announcement, which I'm guessing is the DLC. Because they did a Kickstarter and they had some stretch goals to where they would add some extra chapters to their game if they reached them. And they did reach their stretch goals. And so they're adding DLC and I'm super excited. Because my only, literally my only complaint right now was that the game is too short. But they are going to be fixing that. So that's always hype. Alright. We're actually able to do a lot more inside this temple than I originally thought. I mean, it's also because we got the bow. That's definitely a help. I hate fire temple style rooms. Get down to here. You annoying kid. Oh, I can shoot them with my bow. Fuck you. <laughs> this is going to wreck all of these keys right now because we finally can. Yay, we can escape. Is that an invisible chest? No, it's not. Almost was. We're going to get anything else useful. Maybe Lens of Truth so we can do the, the treasure chest mini game in Hyrule Market. Maybe someday. Maybe someday this game will show us some love. All these fake chests showing love to me. Why did I put on my iron boots? What? Um, I'm silly. <laughs> no, for real, why did I put on my iron boots? I has no idea. I think there's two things we can do in here, yes. This makes the fire go away. And then the eye switch allows us to move the other direction. Yes, recovery hearts. Every other chest inside this dungeon is 
giving us really bad items. But I don't even care because we have the bow and arrow and that's all I care about. Really doing this dungeon is a little bit of a waste of time because we don't get anything from completing it. But I'm just going to do as much as I can just in case there's another good item in here. Because another item we still really need is the silver gauntlets. We cannot progress through the spirit temple without them. I'm not sure if we need to do the spirit temple yet, but might as well try to unlock it. I don't know if the silver gauntlets allow you to do anything else. Oh gosh, hit it before it restarts, before it resets. Oof, that was close. If you go around the whole entire circle without hitting them, then it resets the puzzle, which kind of sucks. Okay, blue rupees, we get it. We get it. The joke is getting old, bloopies. You were funny at first, but now, just starting to make me mad. Okay, I think we can play the Scarecrow song here, but I'm not sure if we can reach it. <laughs> what? I'm like almost positive he's supposed to show up there. I don't think he'd be able to get it anyways, so it's kind of a waste. All right, so I think we've progressed as far as we can into the Gruta training grounds. All we have left to do now is we can use the two keys that we've collected to get a little bit further, see if there's any more chests in the main room. But if not, then we'll get out of here. Which there's a lot of stuff we can do now because we have the fairy bow. Man, it just, it's just nice saying those words, like out loud. Like it, it all felt like a dream when it first happened, but now it's all just starting to sink in. It's like becoming a reality. Zooter is becoming a real reality for us again. It's just, just warms my heart. <laughs> and I'm really good at stalling for time with commentary as we're just backtracking through these rooms. All right, lion, eat me whole and call me daddy. Wait, what? <laughs> what am I, I don't know what I'm saying, guys. Um, <laughs> Josh is like in the room putting his shoes on and he just looked at me when I said that. I was mostly trying to <laughs> provoke a reaction out of him, and he just shook his head at me. <laughs> I don't blame him. Okay, there's one more chest over here. Is it going to be worth all of the effort we put into doing all of these other rooms of the Gerudo Training Grounds? Oh, well, we got another key, which means we can get to the next chest. Another one. Is it going to be another key? <laughs> it might just be. Nope. A red rupee. I think that's the end of the road for now until we get the long shot. Indeed. All right, let's get out of here. All right, let's GTFO. And now that we have the bow, let's go ahead and do that archery mini game. It's one of my favorite mini games. Yo, Oliver, shut up. The cat in the background is being so annoying right now. What do you, wait, what do you want? I have no idea. I'm sure you guys can't hear the cat in the background, but it's really distracting for me. <laughs> having a cat go meow in the background over and over again. Okay, so now this lady right here is willing to speak to us. She came from the depths of her chambers. So we can win two prizes from doing this archery mini game. There's one for getting a thousand points and then a prize for getting 1500 points. Now a thousand points isn't too difficult. But 1,500 is a little bit harder. So each of these pots gives us 100 points. And then you get 100 points for getting a bullseye on one of these targets. If you get like in the middle third, you get 60 points. And you get 30 if you hit the outer ring. Okay, we're almost there. I'm just about to get this first prize. So the hard thing about this is also you have a limited amount of arrows. So you have to be a little bit frugal. All right, that's the first prize. Not too hard. Oh, I guess we can still use the rest of our arrows. Whatever. I probably should have got in some practice shots, but I'll be fine. I think. Shut up, cat! Meow! Fantastic, you are the ultimate master. <laughs> that's right, bitches. I'm the ultimate master. You heard her. <laughs> Bow down, hoes. <laughs> Deku stick upgrade. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about? 
All right, I mean, that's not the worst thing. I, I mean, that would have been better to get when there was stuff for us to do as young Link instead of having to go back and refill my Deku sticks all the time. But whatevs. About to actually get on my horse back? Okay, wow. You not see that my horse is right next to me? No, just let me talk to her, please. This is Epona. Thank you. And don't call me a rookie. You just call me the ultimate master. And then you called me a rookie? That's a bit contradictory, girl. <laughs> Alright, we got this. Come on, can we do it first try? I'm really feeling it. There's all the pots. Let's get a couple 100s in. Oh, I just got one. It's okay, though. Let's get it. No, I need 100. What? That totally hit the archery thing. Should have at least given me 30 points. Come on. Okay, that was a really bad shot. So was that. Oof. Not looking too hot right now for us. I have to get... Oh, come on. We are so close. But, ran out of arrows. It's okay. It might take me a couple tries. Apparently, I'm not the ultimate master. She was right to call me a rookie. I deserve it. A piece of dirty, filthy trash. <laughs> I have a really like weird story about this minigame whenever I was a kid though. So whenever I remember whenever I was playing this, I had like the most difficult time trying to get to 1,500 points. And I remember when I was playing this game, it was around Christmas time and I had just gotten a bag of Hershey Kisses for Christmas. And I remember every single time before attempting to play this minigame again, I would eat a Hershey Kiss <laughs> for good luck. And I would like have it in my mouth as I was doing the mini game, and I don't think they actually gave me luck. I think it was just an excuse to eat more chocolate. But <laughs> dang it, I was re doing really well, and then I kind of slipped at the end. I don't know why I did that though. <laughs> it was pretty superstitious or something. Bum, bum, bum. I like how Link dusts off Epona's back. All right. Perfect on the pots. Uh, 260s. Not too great. Okay, we get 130 from that target. We have nine more arrows, so we have to get at least six 100s or five 100s and a 60. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Dang it. Okay, if I can get two 100s on this, we're good. Oh, whew, we did it. Third try, that's not too bad. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed. I'll be darned, you are a true master. Wait, whatever happened to Ultimate Master? How am I, like, declining in my rankings? <laughs> wow, <laughs> these recovery hearts are not, not being very friendly. Also, look at the rupee count. Blaze it, motherfuckers. All right, um, anything else we can really do this episode that doesn't take a lot of time? And we're able to go back to the forest temple now that we have the bow and arrow. Oh yeah, we can go and finish most of the water temple, I think. Along with the big Poe side quest. Ugh. I don't even want to think about that. But I think that is all we're going to do for now. So uh, I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop it a fat, delicious like. And I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers! Cheers!